Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys a weekend love message. We're gonna tap into this energy, see what's going on with you guys this weekend. What are your overall messages and possible outcomes? Guys, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does leave the rest behind. If this reading resonated and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. Alrighty, um, Aries, let's see what's going on here with you. So I went ahead and I pulled out your oracle cards. I got three cards. The first one that I got was devotion. And I was very surprised when the second one was released. So there is something that you are currently manifesting or something that you have manifested um, in the past, possibly in this past a new moon energy, something that you have been hoping for and praying for. You're being told to release it. Okay. You've already asked for it. You've already prayed for it. You've already possibly done your candle um, ritual. You've done the ritual that you that you feel is adequate for this for this meditation process. So now you're being told to release it to universe. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. Because if it is meant for you, it will come back to you. <clears throat> With the fall coming right up after that. Whatever it is that you manifested, whatever it is that you hope for, prayed for, whatever in the world this is, it'll be here by fall time. This is your confirmation, Aries, that whatever it is that you're hoping for, it'll be here. It's actually, <clears throat> it's actually being worked for. On, it's currently being worked on for you. That manifestation will be coming towards you in the fall. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what are the messages here for my Aries? What does my Aries need to know for the weekend and love? What is going on with Aries Universe? So is this a situation that's been left out in the cold? Have you been praying, hoping that this person will come back in and bring the connection in from out of the cold? That's exactly what's going to happen. So this has to do with the relationship that you were in um, in the past. Um, someone that could have abandoned you, someone that walked away from you, someone that left you out in the cold. You're hoping and praying that this person comes back to you. Well, guess what, sweetheart? They are. Oh, my God. Look, Aries, this is crazy. This is crazy. So look at you have the six of swords here. There is going to be forward movement in this situation. You and this person will be able to move into calmer waters. You will be able to achieve your beautiful ten of cups. So if you prayed for this person to come back, if you prayed for this person to do right by you, if you prayed for a reunion and a reconciliation, that is exactly what is coming towards you Aries what you have been holding on to what you've been praying for what you have been meditating on what you have been manifesting is coming towards you with the fool here okay someone is getting ready to take a leap of faith someone is starting to get that um sense of urgency of wanting to come back towards you that energy of wanting to communicate with you whoever this person is from the past they're wanting to come back in and they're wanting to have a new beginning here with you with the nine of pentacles here pre-empress energy i feel that this person is currently getting their self ready for this situation preparing to come back into union with you this person is starting to see the signs starting to see the synchronicities oh i gotta get back to aries up oh, there's something about aries oh maybe i need to reach out to aries this person that you were dealing with in the past is coming back with the two of swords they're still in this energy where they're undecisive whether they whether they want to reach out whether they want to communicate with you they'll soon get over that burden they'll soon get over that obstacle and they will end up reaching out to you this person will become unstuck okay this person will see things very clearly if there was any toxic behaviors in the past if there was any drinking habits god forbid any drug habits or or just any people interfering in your guys's connection these people are no longer part of this connection those habits those tendencies are no longer part of this connection cancer why am i saying cancer you may be dealing with a cancer aries there is no reason for me to call cancer out in this reading this is for aries universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this person's intention towards cancer what in the world are you dealing with a cancer 
what is this person's intentions towards Aries, universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians? This person's intentions towards Aries. To remove the blockages. To remove what no longer is a serving a purpose in this connection. To be able to come towards you. This person is currently working on removing those blockages. Because they want to reach out to you. They want some forward movement. They want to, to try to reunite with you. What else is... What else is this person's current energy universe? Queen of Swords. They want to cut out the bullshit. They want to cut out the things that are standing in their way. And they want to come towards you. This person wants to speak truth. Wants to speak clarity. Wants to clear the air with you. What else universe? With the Six of Pentacles. The situation for this individual as we speak is currently in balance. They're not able to reach out to you right now. They're not able to give you an equal give and take. Because they're dealing with something. They're trying to get things removed out of their life. They're trying to settle some debts. They're trying to settle some situations. This person is really trying to remove all the obstacles that are holding them back to come back towards you. They're trying to remove all of that. What is the possible outcome here for Aries and this person universe? The possible outcome for Aries and this person. Well, Knight of Pentacles. Well, Aries, please keep in mind that this individual is coming towards you. It is taking them some time to get to you, but they are going to come towards you. Their intention is to bring you in a stable offer. Their intention is to come towards you. Their intention is to work on this situation with you. With the Seven of Wands, if there was anything, um, if there was an energy that was that felt that you felt that this person was standoffish or guarded from you, um, that and that energy is being removed. What else, universe? What are the the final outcome in this situation for Aries, please? Seven of Swords in the reverse. So you are seeing a lot of synchronicities too, Aries, okay? So you're seeing a lot of repeating numbers I'm hearing. So those repeating numbers are actually confirmations from your spirit guides, letting you know that the situation will soon be changing. With the Seven of Swords in the reverse, this person's intentions is to come back in here without any deception, to finally be truthful, to finally be, be transparent, to finally be able to clear the air with you, move on and move forward. Final messages here for Aries Universe. With the hermit, this person wants you to know that they're missing you like crazy, okay? With the hermit, they're lonely without you. They feel like everything in their life is very imbalanced right now, but they don't want to come towards you at the moment because they very well know with this king of swords energy, they don't have anything under control. Everything around them is out of control, okay? And if they come at you with um, half-ass apologies or half-ass offers, you're going to end up telling them off kicking them out and no longer wanting to entertain them so this person is really trying to get all these blockages removed trying to get everything out of the way so they can come to you and really offer you a stable union a stable commitment a stable relationship whatever it is that you have been manifesting whatever it is that you prayed for in this past new moon best believe aries it will be coming towards you all right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.